started resolving here maybe 98, so it's 20 years ago. I was working, drawing, and now I am. A, I will test that today. That's the point. I was always fascinated by climbing shoes because it's something I use every climbing day. You know, to be able to create some new climbing shoes is, is really cool. Jesus Alvarez, product designer for 510 Adidas Terex. So Fred. Fred Nichols, to me, he's been almost like a mentor. I don't know if a lot of people know, but he has his own shop in, in Zurich where he just, you know, makes climbing shoes like, you know, all day. Every once in a while, I get like a huge bag of like climbing shoes with all these like Randy executions. He's more hands-on type of guy. I mean, it wasn't until I think like this here is the first time that I ever saw Fred work on like an iPad or like even get an email. Who to use high technology. He's so charismatic and like the way he cares about people. It really helps show what 510 is about. Fred has been with 510 for a really long time. I started wearing uh, 510 shoes about 94. I took one of the first pair of uh, pink. That was the time. It's cool seeing Fred take to some of the digital stuff, but what I took from Fred is because he's much more organic. He likes cutting shapes and seeing how they feel. I started being more hands-on. It's a lot of trial and error to get what we want. But anyway, the toe on this last is not perfect. He has a lot of knowledge in, in climbing, obviously. He's, he's Fred. I think it's something important, at least so it's always something important in my life. Already through climbing, through drawing, paintings. The alien. So the alien came as a result of Fred having an idea for a last. You need a small ID before making the, the last. You got a small ID what you could do. There's a void in the 510 range for a wider fitting shoe. So uh, we kind of wanted to explore in that realm a little bit more. Different last shape, kind of closer to foot morphology. It's already a nice feel when you put it on kind of feel something slightly different than all the shoes, at least at 510. I think we just came together to try to get the best out of the product and also from a technology aspect, trying to bring Audi into play with the knit material. I know a lot of other companies have like knit materials, but this is a more engineered piece that we wanted to function like elastic or When I am inspired, I am inspired, so it's like you follow kind of a flow, you know. First we do the midsole that we put on the upper, after you put the heel pattern, after the toe pattern, after that will be the bend for the tension in the heel, and at the end the front outsole. And I really still feel a lot of progress every time I do something. Every day, I know, I kind of know with my climbing experience 
what a run will bring, what a certain design could bring as well, because it's, it's nice when it looks good, but it's, it should be useful as well. So I try to be uh, creative, but at the same time, it, you learn by doing. <laughs>